someone for uh, for the world. And so, you know, agape is, is Greek, right? Um, for, uh, what's the Latin? I don't remember. <laughs> but, um, you know, it means, it means love for the whole, right? Love, uh, universal love. Mm -hmm. um, we tend to think the, the most common use is romantic love, right? Or love of family. But it just moves outward in concentric circles, right? Um, and certainly, you know, it goes without saying that the most important love is love of self because we can't, you know, it's cliche to say uh, we can't love anyone more than we love ourselves. But it's more than a cliche. It's, it's absolutely true, right? Mm -hmm. And in fact, to say that kind of in reverse is when I love myself unconditionally, I can't help but spread love to everything else, right? Right. So, um, so you know, tonight we're going to be uh, speaking and doing our ceremony, a shortened ver version of our shamanic intention ceremony um, at the Granada Hills Center for Spiritual Living, 7 p.m. If you want to join in, you can do it by... Uh, uh, but the link is in the description, and I think it's by, by Facebook streamed. I'm not sure. Um, but, or if you're in the area, come on by. It's going to be cool. It's going to be so powerful tonight. And we're going to be talking about love. And um, so, you know, what I really want to focus on is, is love in a, in a general sense as it applies to everything to situations in our life, right? Mm -hmm. Now, as human beings, we tend to resist things. You've heard me say over and over, whatever we resist, not only persists, magnifies, becomes stronger. Whatever we embrace or bring love to becomes our ally, our teacher, and our healer. But it's not intuitive to do so, right? You know, I've got a, a sore knee, right? And getting surgery on March 7th. Um, so it's not intuitive for me to say, oh, I, I love this this knee or this pain in my knee or this this uh, situation that's keeping me from playing tennis three times a week, which I love to do also. It's another love. <laughs> um, but I do because that's my practice because it's become automatic. Is rather than being in, uh, in resistance and, and hating the situation, as some people might. Somebody was telling me just the other day, you know, they had... This happened to them, and that happened to them, and how horrible life has been, right? Um, and, you know, I just saw a post recently, it's so obvious, all of these things, that, um, you know, what we, if we're, if we're complaining about things, we're just going to attract more things to complain about. If we are bringing love to things, we, br we attract more things uh, to, to love. And, um, and, we, and the most important thing is we feel better. In, in the midst of it. I posted something uh, yesterday. It was a quote from Mike Dooley. Um, I know I'm going to read that tonight, actually. Couldn't do it off the top of my head. <laughs> but it's all about just seeing the higher truth and everything, that, that in the end, everyone laughs again. Everyone, no one really dies, you know, all this. And somebody, uh, actually, uh, uh, someone, a, a friend, um, <laughs> called bullshit on my post, right? <laughs> and I had to say, I had to say, brother, I, I wouldn't call anything you believe in bullshit. Um, I might think it, <laughs> but I wouldn't. I wouldn't post it anyway. Um, but the, the, the truth is, you know that um, when we're in gratitude, and gratitude is synonymous with love, right? Because if I if I if I love something, I can't help be grateful for it, right? If I'm grateful for, for something, it must mean I, I, I love it. So I'm doing a lot of talking here. What else do you want to say <laughs> about love, about practical application of love in your life? Let's talk, let, let me, do you have a, an example? Practical of, application, so, okay, so. Oh, wait, I want to reframe uh -huh. that a little bit more okay. into situations, because, you know, it's, we love the people that we love. That's, that's, that's easy, right? We love, love the situations that we love. What about loving the the situations that don't bring us happiness. What about loving the people that piss us off? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna talk about that. With um, we have a uh, WhatsApp group with my brother and my sisters, ex uh, except for one. Um, and sometimes I'm just like, 
damn, why are they saying this stu stupid stuff, you know? Uh, I mean, I don't agree with what they're saying. Um, I try to persuade them to think another way, but, but that doesn't take away from uh, the fact that I love them and I want the best for them. And so I try to um, make them see another way of whatever it is that they're talking about. And I, I feel that by doing that, I'm showing them that I love them, that I care enough to take time to think mm -hmm. about what they're, what they're posing for us and, and to um, show them in some way that I, I do love them and that I do care about them, uh, even if they think that way, <laughs> even <laughs> if they're, they're, right. uh, they're doing something that I don't approve of. Or and vice versa. Right. Obviously, I mean, I don't always approve <clears throat> what you're doing. You know, I try to uh, tell you what I do and, and how mm -hmm. I would do it, but um, I'm sure that you do the same thing with me. Sometimes you don't like what I do, <laughs> <laughs> and how I speak, or whatever. But um, there's always. I know that there's always. Um, love for me, mm -hmm. that you're taking the time to talk to me and to um, give me a different perspective, a different view that I might not think about. Mm -hmm. And and I feel like that's, that's love. Yeah. That that's and what I've seen with you in, in evolving over time is, <clears throat> whereas five years ago, I don't know, maybe more, same conversations with your brother and sisters, you would have been reacting and throwing some barbs out, uh, some very direct and some very passive aggressive. Yes. <laughs> There's yes. a lot of passive aggressive. There's still a lot of that. Might that, go that on, goes in, on in the family yes. system. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but but now you know, I mean, I faced one of my sisters uh, over the summer, uh, where I, uh, she's an older sister, a little older than me. And she was, I felt threatened by her. And as a child, I would have never said, I feel like you're, I'm, I'm scared of mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. you know? And, and by telling her what she was doing to me, how she was making me feel, I feel like she's learning something that, that I'm, uh, by, by the way that I'm, I'm expressing myself, that perhaps she can change the way that she uh, communicates and that that that's because I love her I would never have said that to uh, someone that I don't care about yeah. you know mm -hmm. I wouldn't take the time really uh, maybe I would but with a sister you know I feel like I have to um, try to figure out how to better um, how to be a better human just yeah. by the way that we interact as sisters. I'm laughing because I'm loving up uh, our, our dog here who's rubbing his head against my leg, which he loves to do. Come here, Toby. Come here. <laughs> oh, I, no. I, oh, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, you, you did something. Oh. Okay, all you right. You love that, did okay. you? Oh, we, oh. I took him out for a walk this morning. <coughs> I thought it was, uh, it had stopped raining. And he had, and then in the middle of our, our walk, it uh, started raining. Uh, and then I thought, okay, I guess I, it's, it's a shower day, so I gave him a bath. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'll put you back down, buddy boy. So, <clears throat> yeah, let me talk about situations a little bit. Um, you know, it's a practice. The, the beauty about, you know, spiritual practice, as I say in my book, The Magic of the Soul, is, you know, practice like in tennis it doesn't have to, you don't have to be great. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? Because you're practicing. Then when you get in a game, often what happens is you tense up and, and it matters. In fact, I often say that, you know, I used, to, I used to play against my opponents. Now I play against my attachment to winning because it's a lot more fun when I'm not attached in tennis and in life. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> you know, when, when situations come up that... that um, that might inspire resistance that we don't like, that don't feel good, 
the practice is to simply bring love to it, right? To be grateful for it. You know, I've had this conversation with many people in the last several days, um, and, and they've brought it up. It's something that I offer to a lot of people, but no matter what's happening, I can think of someone else, somewhere else, that would love to be in my position, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, one of my prayers since I've sure. injured my knee is almost every night I say I'm thankful that I have legs. Not everyone does, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I've had clients who are struggling financially, and, and I've had them say to me, you know, but hey, I don't, I don't live in Ukraine, you know? I don't live in Africa. I don't live in India, yes. where there are people who would, um, who would give anything to have a tenth you know, of what my client, you know, might have, a hundredth even. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, gratitude, and, and, and the best thing about gratitude and bringing love to, to everything is, you know, it may or may not change, and by the way, uh, Naomi said, um, love you guys, we love you back, we love everyone that's on here listening and, and viewing us now and in the, and, you know, post, uh, post live. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> <laughs> Bring, and bringing love into every situation, right, uh, as right. horrible as it, it, it might be. And the best thing about it yeah. is not, you know, we talk about law of attraction, we attract more th- things when we're in gratitude, when we bring love to it. This is true. But even, you know, when things happen that we don't want to happen, you know, did I attract that? Or, well, yeah, maybe I did in order for me to have more, to, to learn to love more, right? Mm. That was kind of the nature of the um, the post that this person said, is that, you know, yeah, you can see everything as being beautiful, but hey, um, there have been uh, uh, genocides, there are, you know, there are things that go on in the world, and let's not, yes. you know, I think what he was trying to point out, is let's not um, dismiss that, let's not ignore that, let's Let's do what we can to change. We just think everything's hoopty duty to use one of your words. Uh, then, you know, will we actually... And to me, it's a both and, you know? It is recognizing all of the things that can get better and at the same time seeing the higher truth, which is that every act of violence is a call for love. And if we, if we ignore these, those, those things, then we're not going to love more, right? Mm-hmm. But if we actually are willing to feel the pain about them, then we can love even more deeply and more effectively. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. But it's, it, it is a practice. It's like we're not going to get it perfect because we're human beings, but we just get better and better at loving, at watching ourselves, observing ourselves, how we react in situations. And just the quicker that we can catch it, and say, and not to say that's, we want. That's the clue. It's yeah, catching it. Yeah. It's catching it, because you were talking about your knees and your your ills, you know, mm-hmm. and loving it. Um, I've been uh, experiencing a lot of pain lately, and a lot of different things with my body, and and um, I need to start doing that, bringing love into into the pain and into what is. And finding and by doing that, I can find solutions to move through it. Exactly. You know? And if if I'm resisting it and I'm angry and I won't be able to do that. That's such a great a clear head. That is such a great point, and that's why mm-hmm. you know the pivoting process I do with people gets people to focus more on the positive mm-hmm. than the negative. Because right. when I am in resistance, I'm in problem mode, and you can never solve the problem from the level of the, of the problem. Right. When I am in um, in embracing or bringing love to something, now I'm in solution mode. I don't even have to search for the solution. It comes to me yeah, yeah. because I'm in solution mode. Um, <clears throat> yes. So that is the secret. So, you know, invite everyone that's watching today, um, live or later on, to really look at your life and say, okay, what in my life am I resisting? And what would it be like to bring more love to it? Just to, to 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 see what there is to be grateful for, and when, what I started to say uh, a couple of minutes ago, not not to say that, you know to say that we don't want to to um, to repress our feelings as we're doing a spiritual practice or moving to the positive or bringing love. If I'm bringing love 
of, you know, practicing bringing love to something and I'm seething inside, then that's not going to be the answer, right? right? So, you know, the the litmus test for that is if I do a spiritual practice, I do a pivot, I do a an affirmation and I've got a knot in my gut, it means my body's telling me this needs to be expressed and maybe it needs to be expressed in a cathartic way just to get the emotion out, right? To feel the feeling and um, and express it, whether it be crying or screaming or whatever. And once we get it out, then we can see, then we move into solution mode, then we bring love to it. Because, you know, if, 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 we've, if, we're, if we're holding back that emotion, we're not really in love, right. Right? right? So express it, get it out, do it in a conscious way, and then, you know, not in a destructive way, of course, in a conscious way, and then look at it from a higher perspective. What is this here to teach me, right? What's the opportunity for growth? What's the magic in here that you've experienced? What is the greater freedom, love, or joy that wants to, or any spiritual quality, that wants to emerge from this situation? By asking these questions, I move into love, I move into solution mode, I move into peace. And that's what I was trying to really emphasize, is that, you know what, this shit's going to happen. I mean, <laughs> things are going to happen that are going to challenge us yes. throughout our lives. And guess what? The challenges tend to get greater and greater as we get older because more and more people, we have more physical problems as we get older. Some people would say that's a belief, but <laughs> hey, there's some, you know, and, and, and I agree with that, right? It is. And, I, and we're, as we evolve in consciousness, we will have less and less problems as we grow old. Um, and yet, it is part of the human experience now. And so, if we're not in acceptance about those things, then our lives are just going to get worse and worse. But if we learn better and better how to be in acceptance and how to bring love to situations and, and to people and to the world, then, um, then we, have, we can have, have peace as these things that we don't like um, from our personal you know, perception uh, come into our awareness and experience, um, then we can have more peace, which, you know, that, that I was just thinking about that as, you know, as a result of this post and these divergence opinions that, or, or viewpoints about the world, is I thought I'd much rather be in peace as I'm dealing with the challenges of life um, than to be in anger about the atrocities in the world. Mm. I, can, I can be more of a positive influence, from my experience, as a result of, of um, what we're talking about, bringing love to everything. Um, I was just going to add something, uh, you know, with our love journal that we do every I night. bring that up too. Um, even if you don't have a partner and you have yourself a book every night before you go to sleep, you write down what you're thankful for. Just think of the day, the, uh, even if it's just food or water mm -hmm. or gas or, you know, your whatever, there's always something to be thankful for, something to be uh, grateful for, and, and therefore love is right. there. And that's a very common practice. And I'll, I'll offer one more thing that we don't do on a daily basis, but um, I've done this in workshops, I've done it myself, is put on that, on that gratitude list mm. the things that you're grateful for that you don't like. Mm. And I guarantee you it's going to shift those things for sure in your perspective and, are, and, you know, and lead to greater peace. And when there's greater mm. peace, there's greater resolution. So all the things that in your life that, you know, as I invited you before, look at the things in your life and what would it be like to bring love to it? And what about writing those things down as part of your gratitude? It's really a powerful thing when we do that in the, in the workshop mm -hmm. and people are writing down just randomly, not just here's a list of all the things that I love that I'm grateful for, here's a list of all the things, but interchangeably, just like a stream of consciousness. I, I love my wife, I love my home, I love my family, my dogs. Um, I, I I love my my the pain, uh, the pain in my <laughs> knee because it's it's you know it's it's trying to tell me something. I love the fact that our our finances part of what we were talking about this morning. Our finances have gone down because it's inspiring me to look at new creative ways to bring in more finances. 
right? So, um, uh, so just just randomly, all the things that you love that bring you joy, and all the things that you love that challenge you. Um, very powerful practice. Yeah, I think I'll include that in my talk. That's why I want, one reason I wanted to talk about this today is so I <laughs> get some fodder for my speech tonight. So <laughs> I see. Anyway, um, you say keep this to what did you say? Ten minutes? Yes. Well, we went 25 minutes today. <laughs> because we love talking to you guys. All right, so uh, that's it for today. And um, we'll see you next week. Have a fantastic new year filled with love and peace and um, embracing all things and all people in all, all situations. Um, you know what else I was going to say? i, I got to say one more thing because it, it no. passed through my mind. Just that... <laughs> No one, I say this to people a lot, no one wakes up in the morning and says, everything I do today is going to be bad. I'm going to make everyone as miserable as I can. Even people who are doing what we might think atrocities, I, I absolutely believe that Putin thinks he's doing a good thing. There's some positive thing, even if it's being expressed in a completely destructive way. Hitler thought he was doing a good thing. You know, it, it wasn't a beneficial thing. Right. And yet, in his mind, it was. So we all just are getting better and better at being skillful about what, what how we can contribute to the world in a positive way. Mm -hmm. Not to, in any way, to, um, um, to dismiss what people of aggression do, um, but to, to recognize that... We're all in this together, and we're all trying to be better people, one way or another. And the only way that we can help people to be better, help the world to be a better place, is through love. So, if you got some value out of this today, uh, please give us a like, give us a comment. Um, love creates beauty. Thank you, Naomi. We'll see you next week. Bye. Share. Have fun. <laughs> Love.